But when the image was developed, a chilling discovery oh! was made. A ghostly figure can be seen standing at the left end of the photo. That's totally not CGI. Reapers! What's this good? It's your boy Laser. He's from the Visor back with another scary reaction video. He's on the scary content. So continue to look that for you guys. This is reacting to creepy and unsettling footage you have to see. You guys, we're about to react to some unsettling shit. If you enjoy scary content, more scary videos like features, somebody hit the like button. If you subscribe and tickle that notification bell icon, bro. I stream every night on Twitch, so go check out the streams. Let's dive straight into this video. Slapped him! Oh shit, here we go, bro. Uh -oh. While filming a video for Snapchat, Redditor Kubeb inadvertently managed to capture something rather creepy on camera. See the if hand? you can spot what it is. What? I don't see nothing, bro. Oh! Yo, chill, bro. Trying to give me that grippy grip. Have I seen this clip before? I don't know. Trying to give me that grippy grip, bro. I'm going to grab my cocky like this. <laughs> Squeeze. Oh, no. Out comes the mayo. Forbidden mayo. The poster was traveling in the passenger Probably seat. It tastes better than mayo, to be honest. That's how nasty point, mayo is. A hill station near Mumbai in the state of Maharashtra, India. At the time, they didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. It was only upon returning from their trip and sharing the video that a friend spotted an uncanny detail. If one pays close attention, around the four second mark of the clip, a ghostly hand appears to descend from the vehicle's roof. Shiver me timbers. Scary, oh, slow shiver it down timbers. and brighten it up, the unsettling appearance of the mysterious hand becomes unmistakably clear. <laughs> Creepy as fuck, bro. Imagine just driving to see a hand just gripping a car, dude. is a state steeped in history and culture that also harbors a shadowy side filled with tales of the supernatural. One of the most well-known places said to be haunted is the ruins of Mukesh Mills, located in the posh area. I don't know why, bro. Abandoned buildings, that's just a whole different aesthetic, dude. Like, I just find that shit cool as hell. Like, I just think it's... I don't know, bro. Of Kalaba in Mumbai, the, crow adds the ruins to it. of Mukesh Mills are often cited as one of the most infamous haunted locations in the region. An eerie remnant of the city's industrial past, Mukesh Mills was established in 1871 by Muljabai Madhavani. It was one of the many textile mills that flourished during the British colonial era. However, a devastating fire in the 1980s brought an end to its operational days, Ooh. leaving behind a shell of scorched walls, broken windows, and an unsettling silence. Its dilapidated charm and sprawling complex, offering an authentic rustic backdrop, soon caught the attention of Bollywood filmmakers. However, as the sun sets, the atmosphere at Mukesh Mills becomes palpably creepy. Why you say that, bro? There have bro? been numerous reports by actors, directors, and crew members of supernatural occurrences. Oh yeah, reports. Good old reports. Source, trust me, bro. Trust the words that come out of my jittery mouth. That's how Bo just be sounding like. See the water coming out of my mouth? during their time at the mills. Whispered conversations in hushed corridors, equipment malfunctioning without any apparent reason, and chilling cold breezes in non-air conditioned rooms are some of the common experiences. One famous anecdote that often circulates in Bollywood circles is that of a leading actress who, during a shoot, began speaking in a man's voice. It's me. Telling the crew to leave the premises immediately. She had no recollection of the incident once she was back to her normal self. Such incidents have led to a sense of trepidation among many in the industry. Some actors have reportedly stipulated in their contracts that they will not shoot at Mukesh Mills after dark. Though skeptics dismiss these tales as mere urban legends or the result of overactive imaginations, others believe that the tragic past of the Mills has left behind restless spirits. The belief is further fueled by the fact that the mills are built near the sea, which, according to a local lore, is believed to be a haven for lost souls. <gasps> Given Maharashtra's deep-rooted history and vast cultural diversity, it's unsurprising that the state is rife with tales of the supernatural. This piece of creepy footage, captured by Redditor Kubeb, appears to further serve the enigmatic allure surrounding the region. Bro, they've been on this video for like, six minutes now. Move on to the next story. <laughs> uh. 
Every homeowner knows the sound of the occasional creak and thud of their house settling. Oh, tell me about it. Those mundane sounds are accompanied by a van. Tell me about it, bro. I'll just be making a video and it sounds like someone's fucking in the back, bro, with all that cracking noises, like the fucking... Squeak, squeak, squeak. It sounds like some doors opening, like closing. It sounds like someone's fucking on the bed, dude. And it's too strange Squeaky. to explain away. Even the most rational of the wall is where I live. Feel a chill up the spine. Such was the case for Reddit user mm. Last Mammoth eight nine five, whose security camera captured not only an unexpected movement but also a cryptic voice. Look at that doggy. Doggy. I love those kind of dogs, bro. I love every dog, but those kind of dogs I love the most. You good? The dog's ready to Post fucking... was at work when he received a text from his wife who was emptying the dishwasher in the kitchen at the time. She sent him a video clip captured by their security camera in which she noticed a closet door mysteriously swinging open all on its own. A puzzling event given that she was a good 20 feet away in another room. Doggy go bark. while reviewing the bark. video, however, caught something even more unsettling. Before the door opens, a voice, distinct and clear, can be heard. Arf, arf. Arf, arf. Yow. If he hadn't have been using his AirPods, it might have slipped by unnoticed. When he made his wife aware of it, she was understandably shaken. The initial impression he got was the word higher, but upon multiple listenings, it started to sound more like tire. Higher. In a home where odd occurrences are typically shrugged off, these back-to-back -back events were too coincidental to ignore. The voice, combined with the unexplained opening of the closet door, has left them both scratching their heads and feeling more than a little unnerved. Tell me that, bro. What do you think the mysterious My voice is right now. saying? Have another listen and let me know what you think it is in the comments down below. My peepee's shaking, dude. I can just feel it shaking. Ah! Dogs know shit that we don't, bro. It's crazy. Like they, they sense, they sense negative energy, bro, that we just don't see or The conceive. overwhelming dread that grips a parent upon witnessing something inexplicable in their child's room is likely a sensation unparalleled by most fears. The baby. Imagine room. the heart-stopping moment of walking into your one-year-old daughter's bedroom, a sanctuary of innocence and safety, only to see a rocking chair moving all by itself. With oh, the good old. Behind the it. good old ghost That's exactly what happened to Reddit user Classic. Swiss Army Doc, who claimed they had been in their house for less than three months when they captured this unsettling footage. Oh no! Oh no, don't approach it, bro! The poster says they were checking in on their one year old daughter who was crying in her crib when they walked in and saw this terrifying scene. Don't approach it! Or else you'll get fucking slaughtered. Slit! So how does one explain the goings on captured in this video? Is it the work of a playful or possibly even jealous poltergeist? Or is there another way to explain the chair's mysterious movement? Let me know your thoughts on this one down below. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that shit, hell no. This is here is known as the Bamber Lake. When YouTuber Emily Saxton decided to fly their drone. This motherfucker looks like uh, Goblin, bro. The most underrated stoner YouTuber. Probably the best, like the only good stoner YouTuber. The only interesting one to me. Goblin. The dude on the right literally looks like Goblin, bro. I'd go check him out, bro. He's so underrated. When I used to smoke, bro, I used to I, mean, I still watch him for fun, even though I don't even like do drugs anymore. The only drug I've done is weed. That's literally it. That's the only drug y'all should do. If you do anything but weed, like any other drug that's not weed, you're fucking... Get help, man. Thrown over Bamba Lake in New Jersey, they inadvertently... Like, realistically, you shouldn't even do weed, but like, if you're gonna do drugs, do weed, dude tumbled onto something rather unsettling. The video begins normally as the drone makes its way over a park and then the lake itself. Wow, what the that. fuck? This is crazy. I've never seen Would you... above the lake getting drained. Like you can actually see some of the stumps. However, Would you capture goblin? The drone towards a bridge on the side of the lake, they quickly notice a strange individual. As you guys can see the water is kind of cool. Yo, wait, what the... As what you can the see, fuck? a person clothed in what appears to be a red hoodie is stumbling around the area. Bro, oh, what? what? That boy in the red hoodie is about a fucking... Yo, 
What's even more bizarre is that the YouTuber soon notices that the person doesn't seem to be wearing any pants. Does this person, are they walking Wait. around? That boy, he's wearing pants, what? No way he's not wearing pants. With no pants? Bro, what the f is this guy doing? Bro, he literally has like, like white pants on. Looks like white khakis. In fact, I can't. When the YouTuber flies their drone in for a closer look, they actually spot what appears to be the person's pants on the bridge. Bro, is that his oh. pants in there? He's about to take a shit, bro. Let him be. Let that boy take a shit. Let me kind of go above. He, I guess, ever just stand on a bridge, bro, and your local neighbor would start throwing like small pebbles in the water, dude, just for fun. And then he take a massive shit on the other side of the bridge, dude. And then he let the golfers around the golf park uh, clean it out, clean it, bro. Like y'all, y'all ever lived in a neighborhood that has like a uh, golf park near it? Ever go to the bridge, bro? Take a massive dookie. No. No answers. Go fuck yourself, bitches. Yo, he's walking in there. The individual then makes their way across the structure, possibly attempting to hide from the drone. However, they soon appear on the other side. Like, is he just hiding from the drone? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Bro, what is he doing? Hiding from you, boy. <laughs> YouTuber speculates that the how does this motherfucker not I mean to be fair he can't really hear drones like that that drone's pretty high up but I know me bro I would have just sensed it like right away like you can, you guys know like when something is actually like when someone's actually like trying to like be sneaky on you you can just feel the energy of them like sneaking on you like I don't know how this guy didn't feel like anything like hovering over him in a way you know like you probably would have felt like some sort of well I mean it's not a living thing so oh he's not gonna have it energy but well i mean not let me think do have energy bro right individual might be under the influence of alcohol or drugs given their prolonged unsteady movement most motherfuckers at one point two dirt bikers race across the bridge but the individual seems unfazed by the sight bro bro what in the world is the going fuck? on right now there's a burger is probably we're like what the fuck after a while, the YouTuber guides their drone back to the parking lot near their vehicle and the footage concludes, leaving viewers with an unsettling question. Damn, that's a nice ass area, fuck. Who was the individual without pants wandering near the bridge? Was there a potential threat? One can only hope that no one ventured too close to ascertain the truth. But that motherfucker's on drugs, yeah, probably, dude. What is going on right here? But that motherfucker's clearly on some heavy drugs. Clearly. Clearly, that where he was drunk out of his mind. This creepy image, captured around 2003, was posted to Reddit by user Chwani Chwan Chwan. Oh, dude, haunted cl classmate photos are so children creepy. Children are listed by name, except for the transparent one in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, oh, fuck. Well, let me for you guys. Oh, shit. What heightens the mystery surrounding the spectral figure is that none of the other students could identify them. Dude, what the fuck? Hell nah. Further deepening the intrigue, the translucent child seems to be turned sideways with their hand veiling their face as though attempting to conceal their identity. That's creepy as fuck. That's creepy as fuck. The idea of a ghost child is particularly unsettling because it clashes with our intrinsic beliefs about childhood as a time of innocence, purity, and joy. To think of them as spirits suggests an untimely, often tragic halt to that potential, which is a deeply distressing notion. Furthermore, the vulnerability and innocence associated with children makes the thought of them being trapped between realms even more haunting. Ghost children, man. There's also Fuck the uncanny no. valley effect where something appears almost human but not quite, creating a sense of unease. A ghost child being both familiar and unfamiliar might invoke this feeling more strongly than other apparitions. Oof. Yet Hell while the notion of ghost children unsettles many, it's often left to interpretation, relying heavily on individual beliefs and experiences. Hell so no. as always, we'll throw this one over to you, the viewer, for final judgment. Hell no, bro. Fuck that shit. Got me fucked up. Before we take a look at an eerie photo captured in a church in Canada, vacation. Alright, number one. 
The Anglican Cathedral on Churchill in Newfoundland, Canada holds a haunting tale that draws many to its historic walls. Construction of the stone cathedral of St John the Baptist began in 1843. However, it was destroyed in the Great Fire of 1846. Undeterred, construction of the present cathedral began the following year. However, it's said that sometime around 1850, tragedy struck again when a stonemason plummeted to his death. Hell As no. a tribute to the completed nave, the masons posed for a photograph in their finest attire, seen here posted to Reddit by user <laughs> Meg Triple One Four Two One. Damn, bro, this photo just looks creepy. It just looks haunted. But when the image was developed, a chilling discovery oh! was made. A ghostly figure can be seen standing at the left end of the photo. That's totally not CGI. Totally. It's said that this is the deceased Mason. This eerie photograph now resides in the Cathedral's museum. Amplifying the site's mysterious aura is its cemetery, which dates back to 1699. For a period of time, the dead were laid to rest on top of one another, potentially numbering over 20,000. Due to natural shifts in the terrain and seasonal changes, it's not unusual to find bones emerging on the adjacent Duckworth Street pavement. No sorry, man. Damn, it's crazy as fuck. Well guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys, those videos had me shook as fuck. He's always scared content. He's always scared of the future he's doing to do. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!